What's up, TikTok, YouTube? Been getting a lot of work done with these high beams and these trussles. Okay, this is the back section. This is the whole back section right here. This whole operation right here, okay? I got the eye beam in there right now. I'm getting ready to put these cross pieces in there. Okay? These cross pieces, they have to be glued, clamped, and this is the plate that goes on the top. This plate goes in here like that. Okay? It's hard to do that with the phone in the hand. They overlap on each side an eighth inch. I like that effect. Okay, uh, cut, I cut all the notches out for them. Okay, um, <clears throat> these eye beams get connected to this eye beam right here. So the dimensions from this is a little bit different. I think I got it mapped on there, six inches. So I got to cut a piece six inches here and six inches on the bottom. Okay, connect these two. Okay, same thing what, what happens over here with these pieces. I got them all marked out, okay? So all the uh, <clears throat> information is on the actual boards, okay? So uh, <clears throat> this is the back trussle right here. I might not put a column in the middle. I don't have to. This is pretty strong. This is quarter inch, quarter inch, and there's a quarter inch in there. This is a real I-beam effect here of the weight. You understand? Distributing the weight in proportions uh, down. So it's very sturdy. Okay, if you take a look at some of these, uh, some of these eye beams uh, that I constructed, which is very simple. Okay, this is a quarter inch by a half inch, and uh, you you fold it over. Uh, got some brads in there, and with some glue, clamp them down. This is sturdy. You see the steam in there? Okay, this is, this is gonna hold them trains up there. That weight there is not a problem, okay? I got a lot of cutoff pieces back there, okay? I'll be putting them inside the back of the train, uh, carrying the wood around because there's gonna be a lump, lumber yard uh, <clears throat> on the railroad. Okay, so uh, again, these trusses are simple as well. This is I beams as well, okay? This is one and a half by a quarter inch. Uh, there's a... Um, a quarter inch by half inch inside of there. I cut all those strips out. I got them on the floor, okay, and fold them over, tacking them, and I got some brads in there, and glue, and stuff like that. Now, I could cut this notch out, cut this notch out, then this would just look like one piece, okay? I've done it on the, uh, <clears throat> on the railroad over there, okay? I've done it. It's just small work, okay, and but me having a piece there is more structural support uh, to the actual trussle and the actual I-beam. Okay, so uh, I got a lot of these bases on the uh, railroad already. I didn't put any profile on there. Okay, I got some bits I could put a round over over there. I could put a slide in there. I got the rod over there. So, you know, I'm contemplating with that. That's more work that holds up the process and everything, okay? And I got some of these already glued down on the uh, the railroad that doesn't have a profile in there. So again, these eye beams are simple as well. Okay, these are a quarter inch by a half inch. Okay, and uh, just tack them down. I put a brad here and a brad here. You don't want to go crazy with those brads because you don't want to split that quarter inch. You understand? Uh, too many brads going down here split this quarter inch over. So one over there and one over there. One over there and one over there is good, okay? I don't even think I put one on this side because I glue them together, okay? And they're very, very sturdy. Actually, I got a uh, <clears throat> a brad sticking up out of there. I got to hit it with the hammer, okay? Shoot this guy off with the hammer. Okay, I can't do it with one hand, okay? So uh, that's how the columns is. They're really simple. You understand the construct, okay? Let's get this guy back over there like this. All right? So uh, these are two trussles, okay? This, uh, this is one on the top. This is one on the bottom, okay? This is not glued in any, anything. This actually, uh, this goes in the back. This goes this way and all that stuff there. It's got to 
orientated and stuff like that. Okay, so all of these pieces is cut out. I got them all cut out, cut them out on the table saw, cut them all out at the same time. So they're all uniform. I got more of these pieces. I got them in the, in, the, in the yard. All of these pieces right here are marked out. I cut these out on the table saw uh, last night uh, on these notches. Some of them I cut out with the hacksaw because sometimes there's a, uh, <clears throat> there's a brad. Actually, I went through a couple of them with the table saw, the carbide blade. Um, we cut through them like butter. It goes through those uh, brads like butter. But uh, this gun right here was a good help <clears throat> in uh, building this railroad. I built a lot of this railroad before I actually had this gun, but I really like this gun, okay? It's versatile. It shoots those brads out, okay? Five eights. See that? Uh, when you're dealing with this gun, you're definitely going to need a pair of these, okay? Every now and then, uh, you miss those boards. And working with this quarter inch, you're going to get really good with this gun. Because it's not easy hitting that quarter inch. Going through this board right here and hitting that quarter inch right there, right there where it's not in there like that, that's good, and it's good structural support. If you're over uh, uh, 16th, it's going to come out over here. Okay, I got some boards like that, okay, uh, where, like, I'll give you an example. Okay, I'm going into a quarter inch there, okay? This brad, you know, I could pull it out, but I'm going to leave it in there because I'll just cut this piece and this use this piece for braces and other structural things to this railroad. Because I could always add on to this railroad uh, with these pieces. Okay, I'll give you an example. Uh, this piece has a tongue on there. Once this, another uh, uh, rabbit is cut over here, you have a tenon, this just slips inside of here. I could just start building this way or this way. Okay, I could also put a piece in like this. Okay, with the I beam. Okay, I could put a piece in with the I beam like this and build off of there. Okay, to always build off of this because these pieces go right inside of there. I got them uh, they're built here. Okay, so uh, I could always build off, build off of this structure. Okay. Keep these pieces in the right area here. You don't want to get them mixed up. I got a lot of different dimensions. I got dimensions of these pieces, these pieces, these pieces, these pieces, these pieces, all, all different types of dimensions. And like I said, I write everything out on the board. Okay, uh, many, 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 many years ago, whenever I used to build anything, I used to put a blueprint down, you know, and, you know, uh, the elevation and everything, uh, mark everything out, how much wood I need, the cutting list and all that, and do all of that with this uh, situation. Because I built the uh, railroad with scrap, it was already there, you know? So all I had to do was just put the structure on, on um, underneath it, right? And a lot of things change, you know? I change plans with this thing all the time as I'm building. I'm altering things all the time. Okay, so uh, we want to get this back section uh, in there within the next two days. This thing here gets painted, okay? It's going to look chrome, it's going to look metallic, okay? We want to give it um, a metallic uh, look, um, <clears throat> you know, make it look metallic. Yep, so those are those pieces. They are in line. I got them numbered, one, two, three, four, five. And they actually, this is how they go, in, in the back. I keep everything orientation. This whole thing goes in the back. Actually, these pieces got to get turned around, but these go right up against the wall right here. Just slide them right back. This rail goes that way. This rail goes there. This rail goes there. Just line them up and, and put them that way. I'm not turning the pieces or anything. Keep them in proper orientation. Okay, so that's the layout update. Stay tuned.